My name is Nuda O'Connor and I want to talk to you this morning a little bit about forgiveness. Not of anybody else, but of ourselves. It's Friday and I always call Friday Forgiveness Friday. And it's, I suppose I started this because I felt the need to get into the habit of letting myself off the hook, is what I call it. Because I believe the person that we're hardest on is ourselves. And we learned that. We learned that from the past. It's, it's there. It's, we don't feel we're good enough. We don't feel we're worthy. We don't feel that we deserve. And then we, we basically then, that's literally being hard on ourselves. We don't put ourselves first. We always second guess ourselves. We wonder what other people think of us and we'll go the extra mile to make them think better of us instead of being more concerned about what we think of ourselves. Because when we are at peace with ourselves, when we are at one with ourselves, when we are integrated and retuned to our inner peace, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So the tapping this morning is basically to help us to, to deal with that. And sometimes we can, you know, instead of being angry with other people for what they did, or, you know, we, we are angry with ourselves. And it's not that we have to be angry with people either, but quite often the pain and hurt that we have in ourselves is because we were hurt, we were pained. And rather than, you know, it, we haven't dealt with that. And so anger is a, a way, a mechanism for helping us to protect ourselves about being hurt any further. The difficulty is sometimes we don't need to be that angry and we, the people that we do throw it out at are the wrong people. So once we can retune that hurt within us and that sadness, um, then we don't need to be as angry. We can stand up for ourselves once we put ourselves first, once we do believe in ourselves, once we do believe that we're good enough and we deserve, then everything just literally turns around for us. We see things from a totally dis different perspective. We can detach from what's going on, not always, but a lot of the time. And we can do what I say, we can surf the wave of stress. So let's try some two meridian tapping. It's a new way of tapping. It's slightly different than other ways and it does take a little bit to get into it, but it's worth it because the effect of it and the way it retunes our neurotransmitter energies and our whole meridian energies and balances them out, it really does add a leveling effect balanced grounded effect to the to the tapping system it does so much for our system because it's those neurotransmitters that are triggering off the stress response within us and it's good to get them balanced so here we go i'm going to take off my glasses because some of the points are on the face placing your hands on your solar plex area which is just below your diaphragm just here under the ribs between there and the belly button and i want you to take just a breath or two Close your mouth and breathe through your nose if that's okay for you. Remembering that the nose is our first form, our first place of defense. It's our first form of defense. And just, just say it inside to yourself as you're breathing through your nose with your hands in your solar plexus. I truly am okay. I truly am blessed. And then we're going to tap the karate chop point. The karate chop point is on the little finger side of the hand. And all the fingers of the other hand are going to clump together and just tap gently there. Even though I can think I'm not good enough, I don't think I'm worthy, I don't feel I deserve. Right now, I truly forgive myself. Switch over to the other hand. Even though there are times I don't feel I'm worthy, I don't feel I'm good enough, I prefer to please other people than meet my own needs. I put my body under pressure I eat by eating wrong foods, sugary foods, drinking alcohol too much, drinking too much coffee, maybe smoking, maybe not exercising. Right now, I truly forgive myself. 
want to the nose crease of the chin. Even though I can put myself under too much pressure, I don't feel I deserve, I don't think I'm good enough, I don't feel worthy. Right now, I truly forgive myself. Switch over. Even though I can put myself under too much pressure, I feel I don't deserve, I don't think I'm good enough, I would prefer to please other people than please myself. And I know this is coming from past scripts that are un from unresolved experiences in my life. Right now, I truly forgive myself for continuing this pattern. Come to the inner eye and come to just under the collarbone, the soft part. Even though I can put myself under so much pressure, don't feel I'm good enough, don't feel I deserve, don't eat the right foods, don't exercise for my needs. And I know it's all coming from unresolved past events. Right now, I truly forgive myself for continuing these scripts. Switch over. Even though I can put myself under so much pressure, don't believe I deserve, don't believe I'm good enough, don't believe I'm worthy of a healthy lifestyle. Don't believe I'm worthy of good friends. Don't believe I'm worthy of success. And I know this is coming from unresolved past events. Right now, I truly forgive myself for continuing these scripts from the past. And then we're switching out to the outer eye and the lower ribs, but we're still on the front of the body, even though I can put myself under so much pressure. Don't feel I deserve, don't feel I'm good enough, don't feel worthy. Right now, I truly forgive myself for continuing the patterns of the past that keep me in these thought scripts. Switch over. Even though I feel I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. Even though I feel I don't deserve, even though other people's needs come before mine all the time. Even though I feel second class even though I know this is coming from past unresolved events in my life that I'm possibly not even aware of, scripts that I learned as a child. Right now, I truly forgive myself for continuing these scripts, probably mostly at a subconscious level, sliding out to just in front of the ear and the little finger and thumb. Even though I can put myself under too much pressure, I can overdo it, Everybody else's need comes before mine. Even though I don't feel good enough, worthy, right now I truly forgive myself. For continuing scripts of the past that are not helpful. Switch that over, little finger. Even though I put myself under so much pressure, I am so hard on myself. I judge myself, I'm overcritical of myself. I don't believe in my value, I don't believe in my ability, I don't believe I can cope, which leads to overwhelm and anxiety. I feel depressed because I'm holding so much in and I'm not putting myself first, not meeting my needs. Right now, I truly forgive myself for continuing the scripts of my past that keep these habits going. Come to the outer eyebrow, middle finger and thumb. Even though I know that I'm putting myself under pressure, I know that I'm being too hard on myself. I also know that a lot of it comes from my past, unresolved vibrational blips. And I'm continuing the frequency subconsciously. Right now, I truly forgive myself. Switch it over, middle finger and the outer eye. Even though I know that I'm being hard on myself. I know I'm overcritical of myself and others, and I know that I can fly off the handle and be too angry. It leads to me anxiety, it leads to depression, I get guilty, I'm shamed easily. I know it comes from unresolved issues in my past, and right now I truly forgive myself for continuing these scripts. Come under the eye, come under the arm. I truly forgive myself. I truly forgive myself. Switch that over. Crease of the nose, outer torso. I truly am okay. 
I truly accept myself. Under the nose, crease of the chin, I truly am okay. Switch that over, I truly am okay. I truly am okay. I truly am okay. And bring your hand back to the solar plexus area. And that's just one round of two meridian tapping. And see how you feel. See what that's brought up for you. And if you'd like to book some sessions, go to my website, it's on this post, or PM me here. Because sometimes it's about getting more specific about my own needs. And if you find that you are repeating scripts of the past and that you are hard on yourself and that you are putting yourself through a ringer, triggering stress responses, you've got over anxious, you've got quite depressed, you're going between the two, you're feeling nauseous with anxiety. I know that place, I've been there. I can make the t-shirts, but not anymore. And tapping is what really helped turn it around for me. Yes, I have the diet, but I had that. It didn't work because the scripts needed changed. Change your scripts, book some sessions. You'll be glad you did. Have a fabulous day. Put yourself first, meet your needs, be kind to yourself. And like and share this with all your friends and get everybody letting themselves off the hook on this brilliant Friday. Happy Friday and have a brilliant weekend and a brilliant life. Take care.